Okay, here's the problem of the week. You're given that this line, this line, and this line are congruent. It's inside of a square, and you're trying to find the measure of angle ACD, this angle right here. Okay, so how many people have the answer? So this is kind of what I'd like you to take away from this puzzle right here, is that it is a really hard puzzle, and you need somewhat of a strategy to get started. So you know how I like my little five-step processes? These are the five steps I would really go through, um, especially if you can't get started. So step one is identify the problem. The problem is find angle ACD. Not only do I identify that, I, I mark it on there. So that's what I'm looking for. So I put a question mark there. That's what I'm looking for. Um, step two, identify all of the givens. So the givens are AB is congruent to CB, congruent to DB. All three of these are congruent. I'm going to mark that right in my diagram. I know it's a square, so since it's a square, I'm going to mark that they're all right angles. All these sides are congruent. So step one, identify the problem, and then identify the givens. And then step three is really just, if it's not coming to you, just throw in anything you can figure out. Um, so really just as many ideas as you can about that picture, any parts you can figure out on that picture. Any ideas at yeah. all? Yeah. So we can even attach a number to it. So we can just say the overall length is, you know, you pick any number like eight. So if this was eight, what else can you identify? If you had that length of eight. I'm just looking for ideas. Any ideas? Uh-huh, Madeline? Well, you would know that all the other sides of the square are eight. Yep, see, so I mean, the more information you can get up here, the better. So I know this is eight. What else do I have? And then this would also be a four. You could do that. Yeah, that's correct. Th these are congruent triangles, and they're similar. You have two parts of a right triangle. So right, so four know. is half of eight, and it's a right triangle. So what's this angle right here? 30. What's this angle right here? 60. 60. So now I have, uh, I'm getting somewhere here, the right? Leg of the eight triangle, the other leg would it be like it'd be like root forty eight, which is about seven. And then it would be that angle, ninety degrees, and then you would find the top one. Yep, these two yeah. angles right here. Yeah. Are what? They're congruent. They're congruent and what do they have to add up to? They have to well all three of them have to oh wait. They have to add up to one fifty, yeah. Everybody see that? Oh. All three angles in the triangle add up to 180. The vertex is 30. These two are congruent, and they're the supplement of 30. So these two together are 150, so each one's 75. So this is 75 degrees, and this one's 75 degrees. And then this is what? That's the same. 75 degrees. So execute on the problem, right? What's my answer? 150. 150, and then really the last step in my design problem solving process is to evaluate that and check it. Does that even look right? Yeah. None yeah, of this uh, math is really hard. It's just really hard to see. And that's the point I want you to take away from this. That you don't have to use complex trig or law of cosines. You don't have to use all of that. But you got to recognize it. Very well pieces. done. I like it. I love the effort. Yeah, that was great. <coughs> um, and then here's this week's puzzle right here. So this is this week's math puzzle. This is also an SAT math problem. This is a square. This diagonal is drawn from corner to corner. This diagonal is drawn from corner to midpoint. So this is exactly in the midpoint. And the question is, find the area of the shaded region to the total area of the square. So I'll leave that up there for a week or so.